blood does, after all, run thicker than water. We have finally learned that Prince Harry returned to the United Kingdom earlier this week to attend his Uncle Lord Fellow's memorial, despite multiple briefings indicating otherwise. The significance of the alienated prince's last-minute visit cannot be emphasized, despite some in royal circles saying that this does not indicate a thawing in relations between Harry and William. And someone who knew both of my brothers well said to me, Well, it's a start. It's not just the first time the brothers have been in the same room this year, but it also offers the clearest sign yet of Harry's determination to make amends with the Windsor family. Lord Fellows, who was wed to Lady Jane, the sister of Princess Diana, was honored at a ceremony held at Snedisham, Norfolk. Serving as the late Queen's private secretary from 1990 to 1999, he was one of her most trusted advisors. He particularly gave Her Majesty advice during the tragic Windsor Castle fire in 1992 and about the Diana and Charles marital discord. In the aftermath of the Princess of Wales's 1997 death in Paris, he also played a significant role. It is known that Harry and William sat apart in the back of the church for the memorial service because they didn't want to draw attention away from the solemn celebrations. What precisely are we to make of Harry's unexpected presence, though? First of all, it demonstrates that Harry, like his mother Diana, believes he is first and foremost a Spencer. Diana was buried as a Spencer at Althorpe House, the family seat in Northamptonshire, despite having a semi-state burial as the Princess of Wales. Harry has also always maintained a strong bond with his mother's family, despite his distance from the Windsors. Remember that Harry's aunt, the now-widowed Lady Jane Fellows, put in a great deal of work behind the scenes to make sure he wasn't left alone after leaving the royal family? While the palace doors shut in Harry's face, Lady Jane maintained a line of communication. Lady Jane recognized the significance of keeping an eye out for Harry after witnessing the disastrous fallout from her sister's departure from the royal family. Harry has been able to return a tiny bit of her generosity by going to her husband's memorial. Following the death of Harry's mother, Lady Jane accompanied her elder sister, Lady Sarah McCorkadale, to their nephew's Eton sporting events. They were the ones who made sure Harry got the 13th birthday gift the late princess had chosen for him. The young princes had Lady Jane and Lady Sarah as substitute mothers in many respects. It is true, though it has never been formally acknowledged, that Lady Jane is Archie, the son of Harry and Meghan, godmother. She is seen in the couple's official christening pictures and was a major contributor to their wedding. Jane Fellows is the only one who truly understands how much her younger sister desired for her two sons to remain close no matter what. Therefore, it makes sense that she would wish to take advantage of the chance for reconciliation presented by her husband's funeral. However, there's another reason Harry would have preferred to spend this week with his biological family. Because his mother's death occurred 27 years ago yesterday. A poignant coincidence that the people who attended Lord Fellow's tribute the day before would not have missed. Since Diana passed away in 1997, Harry and William have visited their mother's tomb around the time of her death every year. They used to do this jointly, but they haven't done it lately. It is quite significant that they were reunited during their mother's anniversary week this year. Harry would have been aware of this before deciding to go to the memorial. I think it's obvious that he's ready for reconciliation at last. It begs the question, why now? It is quite possible that Lady Jane and Lady Sarah planned the brothers' presence so they would be out of the public eye. Both of them have remained close to the brothers and have long wanted the two to get back together. That being said, Harry most likely would not have gone if Meghan, his wife, had not encouraged him. It appears that logical, icy thoughts could be emanating from Sonny Montecito. The former actress is aware that her media empire is a stumbling pipe dream and that her future possibilities are now solely dependent on Harry's relationship with the royal family. She is relevant because of that. Publishers, movie producers, and podcast companies are persuaded to write large checks payable to the couple because of this. Put differently, Harry needed to visit the grave to serve as a reminder to everyone of who he truly is or was. Ironically, though, Harry's offer of reconciliation couldn't come at a worse time, because his best-selling and completely malevolent memoir Spare comes out in paperback in October. Publishers typically want to offer fresh information in the paperback to entice hardcover buyers to pick up the book again. Notably, though, 
is Harry's decision to omit any fresh tales, at least not ones that might jeopardize the royal brand even more. Additionally, he has made the decision to forego doing any more interviews to promote the book. However, William is not likely to be persuaded that Harry merits a second opportunity by the commotion that will undoubtedly follow the paperback's release. Is it possible that Harry broke his agreement and persuaded Penguin Random House, his publisher, to postpone the next edition? William is certain to believe that he ought to have moved heaven and earth to accomplish this. While everything was going on, Harry and Meghan made the announcement that they would be attending events during Climate Week in New York the following month. The prince was probably thinking about this while returning to California. Meanwhile, it is believed that King Charles asked religious authorities for advice on how to handle his misbehaving younger son. I know that the queen is now amenable to a ceasefire with Harry, but it's unclear how simple that ceasefire would be. One thing is certain. Harry's most recent trip to the UK is very important. In the event that the prince is successful in mending the royal family's rift, historians will see Lord Fellow's tribute as a turning point. In any case, Harry still has a ways to go before he is fully reintegrated into the royal family.